I saw this lamp on sale and I thought it looks really cool with all the wood and the uh, colors and stuff which contrasted quite nicely. So I thought why don't we make something almost the same with this lamp. I actually got this lamp as a gift from a friend of mine and it's been sitting around in my room unusable ever since because I've been unable to find a place in my room to drill a hole and mount this lamp on and it will just make it way too unmobile to use. So instead I'm going to just take off the head and then leave this bit for another project, probably for a tripod, a camera tripod, since it actually is quite nice with quite a nice parallel mechanism. And then use the head to make a new stand for it. I guess one of the more difficult things is how to get the wire out when it is inside the entire metal tube here and all the way out here. Whoops, that was not planned. Ah, there we go. Knew there had to be a way. And so theoretically the whole wire should just pull out. And I'll reuse the wire and reuse this for a tripod. Nice. Moving on to the stand, I'm going to use this nice piece of spotted gum. Looking at the picture, it seems like the bottom link is a bit wider than all the other links. So that's what I'm going to do next. Cut the other links down. There are also some slots on the two middle links, so I'm going to use my pants router to do this. Okay, I've got a 12mm router bit in it. Toggle clamps clamping down the thing. And stop blocks all the way, making up a temporary template for a slot. And we're ready to go. Well, I unfortunately messed it up a little bit at the top, but it's still quite light, so I should be able to get rid of it with a solid round over. Some of the holes are a little bit offset from the edge so that when it's actually fully mounted this edge protrudes past the other edge and that puts emphasis on the piece that's at the front and hopefully cover the piece that's at the back. Now I have to figure out a way to uh, mount this piece onto here. This piece has a shaft that has two diameters, one 8mm, the larger one at the back and another 6mm at the front. But then at the front here, there's also this weird looking shaft key thing that I think is supposed to stop the original thing from spinning. But I want to retain the ability to swing this thing around, so I'm going to file that key down. Now I'm going to drill an 8mm hole and then stop halfway, then use a 6mm hole and drill full depth. For the base, I'm going to cut it out using this piece of marine ply. I've got the lamp roughly assembled, so now I'm going to test out whether the base is going to be big enough by screwing it onto it and then swing it around. Now it's time to round over the edges and dress it up properly. I 
I don't quite like how this is swinging around so easily. So I'm going to combine a bolt with a plastic knob that I took out from the original lamp and then tap a hole on a piece of wood and then thread the bolt into it and help secure this lamp down. The epoxy is still drying but I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, oil all the parts. I gave all my wooden parts two coats of varnish and then as usual another coat of wax and now they look very very nice. Spotted gum is just so good to look at. And now I'm going to start assembling it before I get drowned by wood in my workshop. Now time to see whether the knob I made actually works. Oh great, the epoxy died. Well then, apart from the knob that's failed, uh, the lamp is basically done and it actually lights up. Yes, it does, even after I butchered it. Yep. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to replace the knob now because uh, I dripped some varnish into the hole accidentally and now it's stiffened up quite a bit but I'm not sure how long that's gonna last so I might eventually replace it but um, I'll just do it off camera anyways the lamp does have a bit of Frankenstein style in that I mean like it looks to be from different parts because the stand is completely out of wood yet the lamp the head is actually out of metal so that kind of doesn't really match that well, but I guess the blue actually looks great against the browny red colour of the spotted gum. So I just leave it at that. I might eventually put some veneer on this though, like some wooden veneer, if I don't think this is good enough. But for now, it is a good collection to add to my study. Oh yes, almost forgot. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.